my friends, welcome back to the shop. Today, the Smith & Wesson 340 PD, a year in review. We got about 750, maybe 800 rounds through this thing. Um, it's, it's been a phenomenal carry piece. Uh, holster situation we'll get to at the end of the video uh but this has been this has really been a fantastic little firearm and we are going to talk about it let's bring it down on the bench and show you what i mean uh, sort of a year in review if if you will a uh, a beauty uh, what i think is quite possibly the best i don't even need a, i'm just holding a screwdriver i don't even need that i'm so excited uh, a beauty of a piece a beautiful piece of gear it is uh, the Smith & Wesson 340PD. We've had it on every single day this year, and I just kind of want to show you guys. Okay, this is our 340P. We see it's loaded. We are going to be unloading this. I'm breaking a rule here of no live ammo on the bench. I'm breaking it for you guys because I want you to see exactly. Look, I've been wearing this thing for a year. I just pulled it out of my pot. I just pulled it out of the holster. It's still, look at the look at the, the state of her why it, it is not in great shape so uh we're gonna unload this thing i also want to show you guys the holster that i've been carrying this thing in <clears throat> and uh and just talk to you a little bit about how i found how we've worn on uh worn on over the year and um and where we're at uh, where we're where we're at with this baby so let's do a safety check and that is not safe that is not clear so we're going to clear it we got one two three four five holes and we're going to chuck these things so far away what i got here is a <clears throat> smith and wesson 340 pd uh we're chambered in 357 if you're unfamiliar unfamiliar with a gun we're chambered in 357 magnum i think this all, to me this is the ultimate the ultimate carry piece i i Obviously, I'm a, a, a Uncle Hangfire is going to be a, a proponent of the of rotationally, uh, rotationally indexing uh, powder actuated uh, rapid onset lead poisoning devices, and in that, uh, I think that the 340 PD is absolutely top tier. So what we can see here, just uh, just kind of on the on the quick, just okay, we took this thing out of we just took this thing out of the holster, uh, we emptied it, just taking it out of the holster. What we can see is that um, we've got a scandium, a scandium aluminum uh, 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 frame here, alloy, and what we can see here is that we're uh, over the year that we've been carrying this, we've been carrying it in leather uh, leather holster, and over the year that we've been carrying this, we can see that we've worn off quite a lot of finish. So all these like hard edges, um, all these hard edges, they even got a ding over here. Who knows from what? But um, all those hard edges have uh, have sort of worn uh, worn through the finish here. On all those spots, uh, we've we've had to. Bat this is a Badger custom grip. Uh, uh, everybody's going to ask me. This is a, a three a three finger grip, a Badger custom grip, uh, in their uh, uh, purple uh, purple laminate. Purple is my favorite color. I love it. But um, so we've got the Badger custom grip here. We can see we got some dings and stuff even on the inside. This is this is what rides against my skin all the time, right? This is what rides against me, and we can see that even some of that uh, even some of that. Uh, even though this is very nicely buffed and the, the fit and finish on these is it, the quality on Badger Custom stuff is super high. We can see that even there, we're starting to pull out a little bit of the dye. Um, <clears throat> but uh, even on the outside, we can see a couple of dings and stuff like that out here. But uh, like I said, the thing gets carried. I think it's important to have a three finger grip. Look at that. We got some really, we got some really nice meat on it. We got a great purchase and that pushes your finger down just a little bit so that when this thing actually does go off when it when it rotationally actuates uh, indexes and goes off uh, you're going to be able to manage the recoil manage the recoil very well a lot of people uh talk about uh, what's the difference uh, we got heavy guns and light guns this is an 11 and a half ounce gun you know what what kind of uh what kind of what are we expecting here for recoil? Well, I can tell you right now that you can't do anything about it. Recoil is going to be recoil is going to be there no matter what. And if the gun's really light, you're just going to be back on the target that much faster. Which is why I think that this is the this is the, the best, one of the best, if not the best, um, carry pieces uh, carry pieces around. We got quite a uh, we got quite a lot of ammo through this. Um, 
there's definitely uh, definitely a lot of ammo through it. Um, I, I train. I like to train with this thing pretty regularly. Uh, do I run 357 mag out of this? No, I do. I do not. I run a. This is a. Um, this punch, the punch ammo, the ammo we took. I don't even want to bring it back over here. Uh, I'm I'm super paranoid about that. I don't even want to bring it back over here. But the punch ammo that we have, uh, that's a federal uh, federal product. It's 120 uh, 120 gram pill, and I think they're doing 14, 15, something like that. So we got uh, from from. Uh, definitely a very uh, we're definitely competing with uh, with uh, nine millimeter uh, nine millimeter there um, <clears throat> what uh, what I like about this most is that even if we push this thing right into uh, right into anything uh, this gets pushed in the ground or gets pushed in the it gets pushed into a target or something like that it's absolutely 100% gonna go off to me um, to me I think that's what's really important but this thing is still dead nuts accurate. Um, it's a it's a fantastic little gun. It's got a high vis high vis front sight in green there, um, and a titanium cylinder, so it keeps that sort of rotational that rotational speed makes that cylinder really light. So if if and when you go and act. Uh, if you're cycle this into the next next cylinder you're not feeling the gun's not doing that the whole time trying to trying to twist its way in in or out of your hand but can't say enough about the badger about the badger uh, custom grip this is a really uh, a really organic shape it conceals very very well and it's got a very nice palm swell for the hand um, I think that this that this is the way to go I see a lot of two finger grips on J frames uh, steel J frame model 60 maybe I don't really see that as a problem it's a it's a bit of a heavier piece um, but on this on this thing because we're so snappy we got to get right we, we want to bring that right back we want to have a good natural reset there i think the pinky is a must uh having the pinky having the pinky uh, attached to the gun i think it's an absolute bust to me this makes it just just makes it super pleasant i can take this thing this can be a range piece i've taken it to the range of burnt up 50 burnt up 50 burnt up 100 rounds in a day and it's a and it's a fantastic little gun anyway I think the 340 PD is is just is just splendid, and um, I think uh, I think anybody that's a that's a, yeah, even remotely a fan of revolvers should carry one. But uh, yeah, I, I just want to let you guys know you liked the video, liked the video. Um, I thought that uh, there's a lot, sort of a lot going around online. Uh, I see a lot of uh, I see a lot of this stuff, uh, <clears throat> a lot of 340 PD 340 PD stuff floating around. I think it's just a great i think it's an excellent gun and i think uh 38 special plus b is a good cartridge i'd rather have 357 magnum um i have carried 357 magnum and shot 357 magnum out of this it does work um it does work i might just switch back to it and work up another hand load for it but i just don't seem to be getting a powder burn but it's a whole nother video it's it's a, a video for another time but um yeah, uh, the Patreon's live. Find us on Patreon. Uh, search for search for good old uh, good old Uncle Hangfire on there, and uh, and you guys uh, have a fantastic day. Like the video, like the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, so for those of you who are thinking about the who are wondering about the holster situation, I gotta tell you, it has not been fancy. Okay, this is a uh, this is a uh, an eBay cheapo. This is made by Azula. I, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, I absolutely love these guys. I, I love this holster company. So we got leather, uh, leather all the way around, uh, leather reinforcement on the on the holster mouth here. But it has fantastic. If we put the put the gun in the holster, and then pull on it, just like we just like we get with our belt. We've got an incredible, incredible retention out of there, and it just flies out of the holster. Um, I gotta say, uh, this combo, this this little combo right here has just been has worked wonders for me. And like I said, I carried this gun uh, for a year straight, and I, I I honestly adore it. I think this is the best, the very best uh, concealed carry. Um, concealed carry EDC revolver that's on the market. I think it's the best one that Smith & Wesson has ever made. I, I adore this gun. Uh, but that's it. That's the year in review of Smith & Wesson 340PD.